How's everybody doing? Yeah, here I am again with one of my videos. Um, but um, the reason that I want to talk about Boomerang and how I felt that Angela was the real villain throughout the throughout the movie, um, for the simple fact that you know when you have a guy who's a dog or a female who's you know basically a player or whatever, you know that's. I felt like the movie was set up to have us thinking that Jacqueline was wrong and all this stuff and whatever. Okay. First of all, okay, when we look at the fact that, the, uh, when we look at, um, what's his name? Eddie Murphy, uh, not Eddie Murphy, Marcus, when he, uh, first met Jacqueline, you know, he really liked her, this and that, he was into her, he wanted to be with her, whatever, and, um, even, you know, he was falling for her so hard, uh, that he even got to a point where he said she could be Mrs. Graham, and, um, if you look at, but when you look at, um, Angela, when she first met Marcus, she felt that, um, she, she saw that and she basically got the feeling that, um, he was in, interested in Jacqueline. And you notice how she spoke on it, okay? And first and foremost, you know, if you're not friends with somebody, um, if you're not friends with somebody, especially like, or in, especially like in a workplace, like they literally just met and she was worrying about him being interested in Jacqueline. And she was like, oh, you're interested in her, aren't you? You know, first of all, like I said, if y'all not friends, that's, that kind of was none of her business. And then she said oh look oh why wouldn't you oh look at her she's fantastic like she started like you know call herself trying to give uh Jacqueline compliments when in reality she you know she was she was trying to you know see how uh he felt about her or whatever he, he was basically trying to basically get in his business of course and um usually when you don't really know somebody that well and they're commenting on something something like that a lot of times they are low-key hating and she actually was hating throughout the movie um i don't know if y'all remember um when the scene on the plane when they were talking about they literally was just chilling and just they was talking about New Orleans. Oh, you can join the jazz and just chill, whatever. Oh, that's something you can do when Jacqueline gets town. It's like, okay, once again, why is you worrying about them being together? I mean, that was before they slept together, all right? Her, uh, Marcus and Jacqueline. But why are you worrying about it? Like, she kept trying to... It's like she was trying to keep tabs on where they were in their relationship. Even if it was just sexual. Uh, even if it was just... Um, intimate physical intimacy it's like once again that was none of her business and she was trying to keep physical tabs on them um and like once again that's something if you're not friends with some somebody that's i don't know it's 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 not a good it's not really a good thing you know she didn't have she wasn't her goal wasn't try to wasn't to um help their relationship in any way okay she you know and remember when he said oh i don't know i like you i just think you're cool yeah she liked him all right because she she wanted him for herself um and there's nothing wrong with liking somebody but if he's not interested you and he's with another female and he's checking for her and like i said you know in the movie marcus had said um oh she could be mrs graham you know it could if he's if you have a guy who's you know with a female looking at a female and you know if he's interested in marrying her it's like why is this other woman who's not friends to either one of them 
constantly saying something, making little comments here and there. When people do that in real life, that that person right there is not would would, would pretty much be a threat to y'all relationships. Be, once again, because whatever it is or wherever you are in your relationship with that per with the, your significant other, you know that person who's not friends to either one of y'all is trying to find out different things and why was she trying to find out different things okay because she wanted him for herself okay and you can see that uh pretty much when Jacqueline had hurt Marcus and that's when Holly Berry was able to slip in there and try to act like she was her she was his friend okay um and she tried to act like oh i'm not gonna let you wallow in whatever and i'll snap out of it and all you know what I'm saying? like she was she he was at whenever you know somebody is in a rela any type of relationship with somebody and they have a, a fight or a breakup or whatever usually that person who's trying to come in between them which she was that person who's trying to come in between them they they like that they can't wait for that moment you know so those so that person can get in there and try to you know uh you know get they put in the door with that person so she basically she was trying to she was setting it all up being basically being manipulative so she could steal marcus all along okay and i think that you know angela you know she it's like people may say oh she was the better woman for him people may say oh she's the type that you marry this and that but i think that they were also going off the way that um angela dressed you know she didn't dress um i would have to say maybe as pro i don't want to say pro oh, i don't know i don't want to she didn't dress maybe as provocative as uh jacqueline uh, maybe I don't want to I don't want to say that Holly Berry wasn't stylish but compared to Jacqueline she was a I don't know she she did look different you know in the uh, in the at the end of the movie where uh Angela had got promoted she looks different or whatever um I don't know but you can but I don't know about that part because you can you can actually dress nice and look sexy regardless of what position you're in I don't know but like I said you know Jacqueline was a different kind of stylish and she was the kind of stylish that men are constantly looking I'm not trying to like I, I'm not trying to say that how that uh Angela wasn't beautiful because we all know that Holly Berry is gorgeous um we all know that you know uh, and Robin Gibbons you know gorgeous as well and, and everything um but it was just a di they had different styles that probably attract you know different kind of men and um yeah and so she was went the fact that she the fact that she like once again she was keeping tabs on their relationship all along and looking for the right moment to steal marcus and she was able and she was that's how she was able to get her foot in the door with him okay and at that weak moment then you know like i said trying to pretend that she was his friend and you know like i said she wanted him all along even when they was you know cleaning the chitlin juice and all that stuff and cleaning the you know after they ate the chitlins you know we don't stay you know once once they take the membrane out um you know after that you know she like i said she had got a foot in the door with him and then when uh they had her him and marcus and what's her name angela didn't even really have a weak moment really okay it's just that at a certain point you know um marcus um had realized that he had still had feelings for uh jacqueline and so he wound up of course messing with her and that's you know of course when he came home late at night this and that and what's really a bunch of bs this is told it was total bs that you know angela cursed you know marcus out in the morning and she was like well you know you, you know what let me tell you something you know uh, um i might not be all glamorous and hair have weaved all hair weaved all down my back but you know what i got a heart and you know what marcus it gets broken when deal with people like you whatever first of all 
you knew that he was a dog when you when you met him so what are you talking about he had a reputation around the office okay angela even knew like because remember um angela had came to jacqueline once again trying to get into their business keeping tabs on their relationship not a friend to jacqueline not a friend you know what i'm saying wasn't their close friend so she was trying to discuss with jacqueline about her relationship you know oh bony t told me whatever you know that was uh chris rock's character or whatever you know but he had a reputation around the office you knew that he was a dog so why is you sitting here acting all surprised and getting all dramatic when he cheats on you because he was always like that in the first place and maybe you know like with um with marcus in the beginning he was deliberately being ignorant to females you know of course sending them cards and sending everybody the same card with the same daggone thing thinking only of you you know he didn't deliberately act like that with angela but he had like if you have somebody who is they has it in them and then and then the cheat and don't really think much of it then they're going to do that that's it's what it is to them and so when it came time it when he came around and he you know basically you know cheated on uh angela with jacqueline like angela tried to sit here and get all dramatic and try to act like like that was just something so unheard of what are you talking about what are you talking about you caught and then on top of that he told him you can't have no you don't have no control over love and how you feel and all this look first of all <laughs> what are you talking about it's like their their interaction in general angela and marcus their engine interaction wasn't something natural that whole situation was that whole situation was manipulated by angela okay that whole situation was manipulated by her because she from the beginning was hating on their relationship she from the beginning you know was trying to tear them apart even even the fact that she went that she was dating his friend okay how's you dating his friend and then you skip down to the you know come on that right there is wrong that right there is is nasty you know supposedly nice girls which was with how with uh angela was supposed to be in that movie nice girls don't do that okay supposedly nice girls like you 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 messing with i mean she didn't um you know have relations with um gerard i think that was his, that was that his name you know she didn't have relations with his character okay but you date you date even if they just dated for a short period of time it's like i mean like i said their them coming together was not it wasn't a natural uh uh type of setting it wasn't a natural type of setting okay it's not with with when um marcus met jacqueline he literally just ran and you know he really seen her he oh my gosh she's this beautiful woman you know followed she she locked eyes with him that's not it it wasn't like that with angela she angela manipulated that entire situation to be with marcus and she wound up getting him in the end at the end but she lied she i can't say lied but she did manipulate and and was shady to get him in the first place okay um and the thing about it is people the, the 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 movie paints uh robin givens as the villain okay and why is it that she's the villain when she basically was just karma for marcus okay and at, she was basically like a what boomerang basically treating him the same way that he treated women of course and if and how and to some degree how to some degree you can't really say that people like that are a villain because of the fact I, I feel like they have certain ways about them that people are already aware of okay um what, what i mean you can look at jacqueline and see she had confidence she had a lot of confidence about herself 
Mar Marcus had confidence. A lot of confidence within themselves. They just, I don't know. They, it, but I don't feel like they were the villains because they, I don't know. I don't feel like they were the villains. You know, I, I it's messed up. I think that the real villains is, are the ones that you don't see coming. Okay? Like, with with Marcus, you seen him coming. He had a reputation. Okay? And even with Jacqueline, to some degree, you see her coming because what's his name of uh, Marcus after even after she played his bond and broke his heart or whatever he still went back to her that you know when it comes to dogs when it comes to players male or female you know who they are you know because they make their presence known and for some odd reason people get involved with them and they try to change them and then get all dramatic basically you know the same thing that uh Angela did okay well you how are you gonna sit here and you know get mad at a dog for being himself that that didn't make any sense that made no sense whatsoever and that you know just uh listening to a lot of people talk about relationships that is the one main mistake that a lot of women make when it comes to you know who they choose who they choose to fall in love with get a heart to you sit there and you figure i can change that man and you know what i mean I don't, I don't know if she thought she can change them, but I definitely, but you, it's like these women, if you, you have women who know that this dude is a dog, and then when he dog you out, you try to act, act all dramatic, like, as if you just, it's just mind-blowing, you knew how he was, but that is my take on it, thank you very much for watching, or, well, listening, <laughs> bye.